All right, guys, welcome back to another video today. Right here in my hand, I have the uh, Savage Deer TPE Crab. Uh, and I wanna say I picked these guys up at the uh, at the store for I think eight bucks for this pack of two, I, I can't remember. Uh, but we're gonna do a uh, lure review on these guys today. If you've never watched one of my lure review videos, I basically just pick a lure, go out and fish it, and at the end of the video, tell you guys what I think. It'll give you guys an opportunity to see how that lure fishes, see maybe my thoughts. Um, and things like that. So we're gonna put this guy to the test today. I've never fished with a crab lure before. Always shrimps and stuff like that. So this is like an ultra realistic looking crab. So I'm gonna pull it out of the package here and uh, we're gonna take a look at some of the details in this crab. It is specifically a blue crab. I'm not sure if they have other crabs or different colors or patterns or stuff like that, but this one is blue crab and it is a quarter ounce. So this guy is really tiny. Check this out here. They got a little hook saver here. Let me see if I can take this off. All right, just went ahead and pulled the little rubber piece off that was covering the tip of the hook there. Uh, but that is it. Hopefully that is in focus looking good. You guys can see it. Savage Gear, TPE Crab, and Blue Crab. We're gonna see if we can catch some redfish, maybe black drum, maybe even sheep's head. I, I definitely could see a sheep's head eating this. It's so small, the presentation is just perfect, and it looks very realistic. So that's about it. We're gonna start fishing here, put it to the test. We're gonna be throwing mangroves and just just toss and see what i can get i mean i really think redfish will eat this it kind of reminds me it's so it's so small in presentation that it's kind of almost like throwing a fly on a spinning rod uh so what i'm going to do is go ahead and take it throw it on this light rod here this is the lightest rod i have 2500 pen battle dx on a fenwick hmg seven foot medium rod should be solid for throwing this guy around but let's uh let's rig up go ahead and get into it oh and we're gonna throw 30 pound uh mono leader to test it out today so Weather looks good, let's get started. All right, so let's see how this thing casts. Not bad, for a quarter ounce, that's honestly not bad at all. It flies pretty good. A lot of times with light little tiny baits like this, they make them too light and they're too hard to throw. But I don't see a problem with throwing this thing so far. Just a little tiny quarter ounce. Weight on the bottom should cause it to stand up just like that. That's why I think a sheep's head might actually eat it. Sheep's head are nearly impossible to catch on lures. Probably easiest to catch on a fly rod, but we'll see. We'll bump this thing around, see what I can find. It is 9.15 in the morning. We're at that time of the year where the sun is rising kind of super late in the day. So still got some time for the sun to get on top of me to where I can really sight fish. But for now, I'll just plop it around these mangroves, see what I can find. Come on, something, what the, oh, there we go. Found what I was looking for, that didn't take long. That did not take long at all. Hit him on a blind cast off this mangrove. We got him. Blind cast off the mangroves, found a fish. That did not take long at all. Probably took about maybe 10 minutes of casting. It's a little guy, I'll take him though. It is a little guy. Yep, just like I said, a little guy, but he does have that crab right in his mouth there. Hey, at least we know it works. Early in the morning here, got the first fish out of the way. I mean, that took, that was not long at all. Not long at all, just blind cast in the shadow line, bounce it, take it across the bottom. He ate it, he ate it. Pretty fish, pretty fish, but back in the water, just maybe uh, probably just under slot redfish, probably 16 inch or see how that lure did from that now i'm curious to see the durability of this lure or even see if this it looks as if this rubber piece here no, i'm sorry the rubber crab could pull off pretty easily like there's nothing preventing it from getting off the hook so i could i could very easily see me hooking into a redfish fighting it and coming back with no crab on the hook so that's one thing i see about this lure so far um is there's nothing to keep the keep the crab actually on that hook but other than that we got our first fish looks solid we'll go ahead and keep fishing here Knocked out a redfish early, let's go. All right, back to just flipping mangroves here. Now, I did, obviously I didn't sight cast that fish, so I'm still very curious to see how fish are gonna react to it when they see it. But yeah, other than that, I think it's gonna work. I'd really, really like to get a sheep's head today on it. It's about the only lure I think a sheep's head might eat because it's just so small. Oh, there's a redfish right here. Snook actually. Oh, 
right as I was talking, a snook just swam out in front of me. I don't thought, but <laughs> I think a sheep's head will eat it. I think a snook won't. That's one problem I have with this lure, but you never know. Snook might eat a little crab. I guess our intention isn't really to catch snook today, is it, if I'm throwing a little crab? That's a big one. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Oh, yes. Oh, I, I barely saw him, so what I did is just stay with me, buddy. Got the light tackle today. That's a nice one. Bigger than the bigger than the first one, not a huge one, but kind of caught me off guard because I threw it out in front of him. That's a nice fish. Threw it out in front of him, ticked it, felt like, hey, he probably ignored it. And then all of a sudden, thump. We got it. So, second fish of the day here. Yeah, look at that crab right in the corner of his mouth. Second fish of the day. Nice fish. Very nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's kind of taking me up into the trees here. Oh, I'm going to reverse out of here. Do not want to lose this guy. He's not huge. Definitely a fish strong enough to take me into the trees with light tackle if I'm not paying attention. And I really do not want to lose this crab. I only got two of them. That's a nice fish. He probably goes 22, 24. Oh yeah, real nice fish. Beauty. Beautiful fish. Yeah, he's, he's a little bit bigger than the first one. Definitely a lot stronger fish. And that crab right in the corner of his mouth there. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. A little blue tail. That's pretty cool to catch a nice red fish on such a small little bait. But we'll go ahead and unhook this guy. Let him go. Absolute beauty. Nice fish. See ya, bud. Water's a bit colder. We are approaching the winter time now, so... Water's a bit colder. Should be a good redfish time. Well, I don't know if I'll say that, but we should be catching a lot of redfish very soon. I've been catching quite a few, but we'll keep catching them. This crab's a little messed up here, a little funky. All right, get it re-rigged nicely. Just like that. Still looking good after two fish. I'll take it. I did have one fish that spooked off, I don't know, about 15 minutes ago, probably about the same size. Made a nice cast to him ticked it ticked it ticked it and he just shot off around it so i wouldn't say we're technically two for two maybe uh two for uh three on shots and opportunities today but it's working it is working we'll see keep on knocking these redfish out i'd like to find a sheep's head I'd like to find maybe a trout maybe black drum black drum would be a great fish for this thing i think they would absolutely crush it Oh my gosh, huge school of redfish swimming down the shoreline right here. Watch this, guys. Like about a dozen of them. Watch this. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. Got <laughs> Look at all these redfish. Oh my gosh. Look under the boat. They're all chasing the redfish around. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just I think they just spooked. That was probably 12 redfish just swimming on the surface. That was sick. Probably the, some of the most redfish I've ever seen swimming together ever in Florida. I mean, there was probably 12 redfish right there. This definitely was not the biggest one. Oh, that was sick. That was so sick. <laughs> oh. oh, I was not expecting that. How cool. How cool is that? Oh. All right, redfish number three. I was actually just gonna go ahead and move out here and go try a new spot. And I just look over, see a huge wake, a bunch of bait fish. I'm like, eh, let me fish those bait fish right there. See what, see what I can find. And about a dozen of these guys just came swimming down on the surface. And hey, he fell for it. He fell for it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, like always, we're just gonna release this guy, put him back in the water. Oh. All right, 
I mean, he's probably 19 inches. Now, you guys might be wondering, hey, Justin, that's a slot redfish. Why don't you keep him? You know, redfish taste very good. And I will agree, redfish do taste good, but I just find that I don't find enough redfish in the river. If I was catching 20, 30 a day, yeah, maybe, maybe I'd keep one here and there, but I just don't catch enough redfish to want to keep them. There's not enough times like that where I see a school of them just hunting down the bank. That almost never happens. The most I ever see is maybe two or three. That was truly a dozen fish working the shoreline, which was, that was really cool to see. I mean, it was really cool to see. I'd never seen that before. Not in Florida, at least. Seen some fish work like that in Louisiana, but Florida redfish schooling up like that, I'll take it. That was pretty neat. Pretty neat. So three down. I think I want to show you guys something just real quickly. All right, just want to take a quick break from uh, fishing here for a second just to tell you guys about my new redfish stickers. These are redfish camo stickers on my website, jmfishco.com. They are super sick, super, super cool. I love them a lot, but if you guys want to check out or support the channel other other than just watching the videos and liking the videos, grab some from my website. I greatly appreciate it. It helps out the channel a lot. And uh, yeah, just want to stop fishing here for a second just to tell you guys about that, but we're going to keep on looking for redfish here. Let's do it. All right, I just found a perfect fish. Little black drum right here. This is exactly, oh, right on it, instantly. Yep, he's on it, he's on it. He's trying to eat it, he got it, that time. Yep, instant, dude. I don't think I've ever seen a black drum eat that quickly. Oh, there's a bigger one behind him. Oh no, there's a redfish. Look at the redfish behind the black drum. They're all freaking out. The redfish are looking at the black drum like, what is going on? That happened earlier when I pulled that redfish out of the school. That's so cool. The redfish come up to the black drum. They're like, what's going on, buddy? You okay? If only I had extra hands. Get a redfish and a black drum at the same time. That was cool. That's exactly the fish I was looking for to put this lure to the test is a black drum. Now he's little. I do find that the smaller black drums sometimes are a bit more aggressive, but I think that's pretty cool either way. We got one. We tricked one. Whoa. Come on, bud. Oh, all right. Check him out. That is a beautiful fish. Very, very well, well-defined stripes on him. Just a good-sized fish with that crab right there in his mouth. That is so cool. That is so cool. He killed it. And what I didn't realize is that he had a couple redfish friends right next to him. I didn't even see him. I was just so zoned in on this black drum. And they came to see what was going on when he uh, when I hooked him. But we're gonna go ahead and release this guy. We're on him today. We are on him. I'm gonna go for a quick release. Let's do this. Lay him back in the water. Such a beautiful fish. Oh, there he goes. Such a beautiful fish. Really cool when they have the stripes just like that. Big black and white stripes, kind of like a giant sheep's head, but, but not a sheep's head. Well, that is fish number four on this little guy. It's a solid lure, no doubt, no doubt. Nice black drum going down the tree line right here. No, don't go into the trees. Don't go into the trees. Work with me. Yep, that was a nice cast. It's stuck in the tree though. He ate it off the tree. <laughs> oh, he ate it off the freaking tree. Oh, I, you guys probably couldn't see that from there, but I, probably about three foot deep into my cast there, right before the lure. It got stuck in the tree and it was just dangling. So I just jigged it up and down until I felt the weight and pulled back on him. And the, when I pulled it tight, the line came stuck or came unstuck out of the tree. Hey, we got another fish, dude. They're chewing today. They're chewing. This is a little bit bigger than the last black drum. Whoa. <laughs> a little bit bigger than the last black drum. I saw him. He's starting to go up in the trees there. That's why I hit it so close to the trees. Got it stuck, but. I got it just in front of him before he kind of disappeared up under the mangroves. He's a pretty one. <sighs> well, 
absolutely beautiful black drum right there. Definitely a lot bigger than the last one I caught. This guy's probably goes, probably goes 25 inches. Really nice fish, no doubt a really nice fish. I don't know if you guys can see that little crab in there, but hey, they're chewing this thing. I mean, if the black drum are just absolutely clapping it, it's a solid lure. It looks, it definitely looks realistic if the black drum are chewing, but hey, they're eating. We're gonna go ahead and let this guy go and uh, keep fishing. We're whacking them today, absolutely whacking them. Stuck right in the top of his lip and try to pop it out here. Looks like we got a job for the pliers. Oh, that popped out easy, just needs some help. All right, I'll spin this guy around, lay him back in the water. And there was a few other black drum with him. He's already ready to go. See you, bud. There's a few other black drum with him right up in those mangroves there. Um, so I'm gonna just keep on fishing here. Maybe I can get one more fish, maybe not, but man, they are chewing today. That's all I gotta say. Oh, big red, big red, big red working up under here in the shadow line and cast to him. You gonna see it? He's deep up under the mangroves. It's a big red fish, a real nice one. It goes right through here. Oh, yep, he just oh, stuck in the tree. No. Oh, I cast it up in the tree. Shoot. I cast it up in the tree and it fell in the water and came up and plucked it. I'm gonna have to land this fish like this. I hope this thing does not break. I cannot believe that that fish just ate that. Honestly, actually I can believe it because it just happened five minutes ago, but okay. I'm gonna have to land this fish and not fray off in the tree. Oh, there he goes. Ah, there he goes. He got me. Oh, didn't break. So that's good. That just sucks. I mean, I saw that redfish cruise up under or through this mangrove line here, just following the contour of the of the mangroves. Comes out, bends left, and I just I made a good cast. I just grabbed the edge of a branch, and that lure sank down, and just sat in the water, and that redfish came up, picked up his head, and just boom, got it. So now, got a redfish on, but I'm also stuck in the trees as well. Well, no no worries. I mean, he just got off. Better than him fraying off or breaking the le the leader and him swimming around with a crab in his mouth. I'll tell you, there's another one right there. Or is that the same one? Okay, I think that's the same one. I think he just cruised up in there. Oh, too much excitement today. A lot of excitement. A lot of excitement. All right, guys. Well, I think it's that time of the day where it's just getting a little bit warm. Uh, sun's kind of on top of us. Not seeing as many fish and I'm just not getting as many opportunities as I was earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about this guy right here, this uh, Savage Gear TPE crab. It was it was great today, on, to be honest. It was probably one of the best uh, lures I've done a lure review on. So I was really surprised, to be honest, this little tiny crab. I was expecting maybe a redfish would take a bite at it, but to get like every black drum I saw to at least take, you know, take a look at it, it was pretty, that's pretty solid. I mean, I caught two black drum and catching black drum on artificial, I say this time and time again, it's just not easy. It's super, super hard and they're picky and they just ate this really well today. The redfish, I mean, redfish clapped it. It was eating, what I catch, three reds, uh, two black drum today. It still looks good, still looks brand new. So shout out to Savage Gear, great job guys. This thing, this thing's solid. The only complaint I think I have about it is uh, I think it the, the little crab here, it rides back up and then ends up just like that. And you can easily lose the crab uh, like that. Unfortunately, or luckily I didn't, I didn't lose the crab today. So we're safe. We still got another crab in the package, um, but I think it would be really easy to lose it. So maybe like some glue or just something to like hold that crab onto the little, onto the, uh, the jig head. That would be better. But other than that, we whacked the fish today, whacked them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please check out the redfish stickers. I'll have the link in the description, top link. It'll be jmfishco.com. That is my website. Check them out. Great way to support the channel. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. We're gonna go ahead and head on home. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys. Hi. We'll see you guys in that next video.